guys, Cindy out of here with my artsy endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. I'm standing here in my kitchen. Look at that ugly wallpaper. Ew, I hate it. <laughs> it's going to go away. But anyways, I'm here this month to talk to you about explorations of me. And the topic this month, I'm actually not going to do a page in my book. Um, because A, I don't have time. B, I want to just show you what I've got. So what the um, subject is or topic is or prompt is, is do you have any collections? And if so, what kind of collections? And how did they get started? So I'm going to tell you a little story <laughs> about a very unique collection that I have and how it got started. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, here we go. I'm gonna tell you about this little collection I have right here. First, I gotta move this guy out of the way. And her out of the way. And this little collection is what we call the It Family. Um, now it all started with this piece of pottery, uh, this guy that I found in a thrift store. <laughs> Isn't he funny? Um, he, I think he weighs 12 pounds because he's a huge chunk of clay. But I found him in a thrift store and he was in a case and they wanted $10 for him. His tail is broke right there. So, you know, I, I just, something about him really spoke to me. So I thought, all right, cool, I got to take him home. Well, my husband thought I was insane. And, of course, you know, I'm an artist. What does he expect? So, this is Mr. It. Well, then, we were uh, somewhere shopping. And I found, where is it? This little guy. Now, this little guy is a Norwegian troll. There are, they are actually such things. Um, and they have a, an entire family of these, these trolls. And I, for one, love trolls, you know, the ones that have the pink hair and purple hair and that kind of stuff. Well, these guys just really spoke to me. And when I saw him, I was like, oh, look, there's Mr. It's Keeper. Okay, so then we were shopping somewhere and I came across this guy. Well, here is It's Daddy. <laughs> Whoops, get back here, Keeper. Sorry, guys. I'm holding my camera. I'm not used to videoing like this. So here's its daddy. Here's the, the keeper, which is, I'm guessing, the child at this point. And then we have Mama. <laughs> now, I know some of you are going to be like, oh, my living God, what is that? Like I said, it is a troll. Um, see, it's, uh, where am I? Right here. And they have an entire family of these trolls. So, there are so many more out there. Would I love to have the whole collection? Absolutely. They're expensive, so I don't have the whole collection. But anyways, this is one of my collections that I have, which I think is very unique and different. Um, now, because I'm out here, I'm going to show you something else. My sister and I love to go to the thrift stores as well and the old antique shops, that kind of thing. Well, I have this guy here. I'm going to pull you over here. There's Jeff and I when we were young. Very young. Okay, I have this guy here. <laughs> I know you're probably looking at this saying, oh my God. He says mountain music on him. And let me bring him down here so you can see him. Oh, maybe not. Bring him back up here so you can see him. The light's better up there. All right, he is a um, brain donkey. Okay, <laughs> that looks like he needs a really good meal. Well, just the little story about him. We saw him in this antique shop, and I think they wanted $20 for him. And I said to my sister, I said, if I go home with that, Jeff is going to kill me. Look at him. Isn't he cool? <laughs> so, um, unbeknownst to me, my sister went back to the antique shop <laughs> Afterward, and got it for me for my birthday. And I have to tell you, I absolutely love him. There's just something about him that I thought was awesome and cool. So there he is. This is one of the big pine cones. Look at the size of this thing that comes out of our front yard. Isn't that awesome? But anyways, there is my collection. I know this video is short and sweet, but I hope you guys have enjoyed. 
and I cannot wait to see what your collections look like. Um, definitely check out the other artists in the description box below. We've got Anne and Leslie and uh, Gina joining us to see what their collections are. And I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, have fun. That's what life's all about and happy creating. I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.